Hello, hello. Buddy, you cannot get up here right now. Seriously, no. Nope. Hi, buddy. No. All right. No. My supervisor is very disappointed that he can't um, sit in my lap at the moment. Alrighty, that's done. This can go over here. Alright, so, Velvet Trace. What are we going to do with Velvet Trace? Let's see. So I have this one, which I should probably clean up a little bit, because it's just got, you know how Velvet is. Um, velvet is a, um, it's got a bit of a pile on it. Um, essentially that means that there's a lot of individual little bits here and other things like to get caught on it like every little piece of fuzz and fur and hair and you name it it gets stuck to it um so just clean it up a little bit there we go yeah, come on all right Good morning, how are you? So you wanna see what I'm working with? Um, things are good. Um, I am currently um, working on a velvet tray that I started over the summer and then um, Gex convention happened and my sewing machine broke and my computer broke and I've been trying to just catch up to how life has been since so now I'm finally back <laughs> um, just got done grocery shopping nice um, so let me get back over here so I can see what I'm doing yes so velvet we have velvet here. Um, it's a, this is an actual nice, rich, real velvet. Um, super nice. Uh, you can't really see it very well, but I have already put in that first um, scene here. Oh, you can catch it in the light every now and then. Um, what? I started doing um, was sewing it up around the outside here um, after inserting the well inserts however two things happened here first the edges here were a little bit too long so it folded funny second um, my sewing machine had a um, a stitch length that was too short for the fabric because it does have a bit of a pile on it I have to use a longer stitch length to get through that without um, 
damaging it or crushing it or anything like that. So, two things learned there. Um, and also I have to be very careful about how I pin it um, because it will stay exactly as it is. So, I'm actually going to have to pin it a different way than I normally do. And you know that's not a problem. I just need to make sure that I do it properly. So, that's where we are. You can see. Yep. You can see how, how much I had folded over. Um, it was folded about here. So I need to cut all that back in a little bit. Um, normally with cotton, I like to leave a bit extra. Um, that way it helps give it slightly more stability. Um, it helps puff it out a little bit on the sides. It just looks nicer. Uh, the most difficult fabric to work with probably, I don't know, velvet knits, uh, stretch knits maybe. I don't know. You got to have the right equipment for anything. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so... I'm going to not hurt myself. Okay. And yes, I have a blanket on underneath because even though I'm in my house, I'm still cold. I'm always cold. It's just a way of life for me. All right. Yeah, so far the most difficult fabrics I've worked with are velvet and um, stretch knits. Um, but, you know... <laughs> yes, I am one of those people. Give me your warmth. I need it. I have none of my own. My husband refers to me as an ice cube. I'm his cold pack because he's one of those warm people. So, it works out well. He warms the bed and I cool it off because I just kind of suck in heat and I don't do anything with it. I'm just constantly cold. It's funny because he'll like try to warm my hands and he'll sit there warming my hands for a while. But they never actually get warmer. I just start feeling slightly less cold. Alright. Let's try this again. Now that I have slightly less fabric on here, it should work a little bit better. Yeah. Alright. Yes, I'm so cold, my hands are stiff. It's, it's a problem. I'm gonna put them out of pocket for a minute. I know it looks like I'm doing something dirty, but I'm just warming my hands. I'm trying to make it so that I can actually use my fingers dexterously to pin this, because that's important. And this is the warmest place right now because it's right next to the blanket and my core. So cold. All the time so cold. Alright. Pins.
Alrighty. You lurk. I'm currently multitasking too. I am working while I work. Because I heard you like working. <laughs> but thank you for joining. I do appreciate it. One thing I like about working with Velvet is that it's so freaking soft and I get to just sit there and touch it. Smooth it out. It's quite nice. Um, another thing about these trays is that I'm going to have to do it as a Velvet liner only because my... Um, my uh, tag, that's what it's called, my label is a, an iron-on label, so I need to be able to iron it on, obviously, and um, ironing the velvet like that could damage it, in fact it's very likely it'll damage it.
that'll work. Here, just keep that. <clears throat> I'm super excited about this. I've been thinking about this tray for months. It um, has taken up a spot on my desk right in front of my view, like right here, essentially, um, just out of camera um, where my shelf is. It's just been sitting there for since like July. August. Yeah. It was one of those things that I was actually hoping to have a prototype for Gex Convention, but it didn't happen. Which is cool, you know, stuff happens. Thank you. 
So when I get to the corners, I'm definitely going to want to take these corner pins out, which I do anyways because I don't want it to ruffle. Um, but this is going to have to, I'm going to need to do longer stitches. I'm going to need to go slowly, definitely slowly. And I'm going to want to keep the velvet on top so I can monitor how it looks as it's going through, I think. Yeah. Alrighty. So, with all of that in mind, I'm going to switch over there. Um, meanwhile, I actually have realized as... As I've been pinning that um, my stomach is rumbling and I'm pretty hungry so I'm gonna go actually make some oatmeal real quick and grab some water as well because it just so happens I'm thirsty so I'm gonna go ahead and do that if you haven't grabbed a snack yet today uh, go ahead and grab a snack get some water uh, maybe stretch and uh, we'll meet back here in just a couple seconds uh, minutes minutes it'll be a few minutes
one for Fred Cam. Welcome back. Sorry it took so long. I figured the best way to make sure I actually ate my oatmeal was to just eat it while I was standing at the microwave immediately after I made it, which was a good call. All right. There's black in here. Eh, why the fuck not? This is a tester. But no, it's gonna be mine. I want gold. And by golly, there's already gold on it. It'll drive me nuts if they don't match. Do -do -do. Oh, hi, buddy. No. 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 what I thought, right? Yeah. Gave up. Just in the... Gonna happen. Hello, hello. Good morning. It's going well. Ooh, awesome. How are you, Jess? And how are you, theater nerd? Um, what are you what are you playing for the Sunday Funday game? Can you tell? Thank you, no one of consequence. I appreciate the sub. Turtle Barbarian. Woo woo! Thank you. Oh man, okay. So today we are actually working on Velvet Trays. So it's a good day for a sub because it's a Velvet Tray day. So thank you so much. Um, yeah, I put in the first seam here in like July, August maybe, 
and um, I made a couple mistakes on the outside and before I had a chance to go fix them um, he's going to be old nice. um, before I had a chance to fix them Gex convention happened my sewing machine broke my computer broke everything happened and I haven't picked it up again until today it's just been sitting there taunting me from right here in my desk like it's it's literally been sitting right there across the the board from me just taunting me since then so today we are finishing it I um, went through and I had already taken out the scene that I put in um, I cut down some of the excess fabric I refolded it a little bit differently um, and pinned it slightly differently so here we go um, it's time to actually put that last seam in and see if that helps um, in addition I'm actually going to make my thread length a little bit longer uh, we're gonna pump it up to three um, just because I'm pretty sure actually I'm gonna pump it up to 3.5 because of the pile. The pile is the extra fabric layered on top of one another. Uh, the fabric fiber strands labeled, uh, labeled, layered on top of one another um, to create the texture of the fabric of the velvet. Um, so because of that, I'm going to make my stitch legs a little bit longer. That way my needle can get up and over that pile a little bit easier without crushing it or bunching it or anything like that. So hopefully that'll that'll be nice and smooth. And I have tea. This is a good day. And my friend's coming over after all her errands are done. Beautiful. All right, which side? So this one's going to be mine. Um, but if I can get it down, then we might be uh, cooking with uh, gasoline there. Yes, it does sound like a lot of fun though. Um, I can't. Um, are you playing them on a stream or other such place where we can see? Let us know. Nope, too fast. Not a day that ends in Y if I don't pull out seams. Hold on. And this is exactly why I got an ergonomic seam ripper. Oh, for Little Red Dots channel? That's awesome. I love her so much. Okay. So, before I take out this seam, I'm going to look at it. Oh, uh, I, it would be helpful if I cut both sides of the thread. Totally helpful. I'm going to look at it and see if it looks right. And it actually looks freaking gorgeous. Yes, yes, yes. No bunching, no munching, no nothing. Okay, so you can see on this side, it's looking pretty good. It's definitely not even. I'm going to have to redo it. I went a little bit fast. Um, but uh, you can't really see it. There you go. Um, it's going to, it's going to work. It is going to work. I just need to 
slow down and not be so excitable. That's essentially the short story here. Well, I'm glad it's the purple amount of shenanigans. That's awesome. I'm definitely gonna have to catch it. Or at least try to. buzzes it means that sorry it was a double buzz the double buzzes are important I have to answer the double buzzes okay good Considering doing a voice. Voices are always nice, even if you just do um, like a little bit of a different pitch or tone from your own can add a lot to the character and it can also help uh, your party differentiate when it's you and when it's the character talking. <clears throat> Gosselu, stop rushing. No rushing. Hold on, I see one problem right here might be part of the reason why it looks so wide
also piecing her quirks, yeah. Not great at accent, but I tried to give different PCs and PCs different characteristics to their voices. Yes, definitely. completely agree with Jess. Um, just even that little bit of extra dimension to your voice can really help bring home the feeling of the character. Um, and people will generally pick up what you're even if you're not doing a full-on voice, you could be doing something close to um, close to an accent or a way of talking that people can generally get an idea of what the character would sound like a little bit better than you could possibly portray. You know, respectfully, of course. Um, one with limited uh, limited uh, time and effort put into practice can still make their voice sound differently to people who are experienced with using their imagination to enhance the things that they're feel feeling and, and seeing and, and hearing into more than what it is. Just even that little bit really helps bring it home. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, sorry. Not perfect. But not too shabby. Um, I definitely need a lot of practice with it. But I think that's basically the only thing missing is time and practice. So let's continue. I got rolled, but that's because of the way it was folded. And I see what I did there. Um, 
when I cut this going forward, I'm going to have to pay more attention to the individual, um, the, the way that this is um, oriented for my pattern. Um, for cotton quilting fabrics, it doesn't really matter how exactly you orient the uh, the weave, the uh, what's it called, the knit of the of the fabric. Um, it comes out the same way. For this, I'm going to have to pay special attention to which direction the weave is going um, in order to make sure it doesn't get bunched, essentially. Um, it'll help me in the future with making sure that things like this don't happen, which is not like absolutely terrible. There are worse things that have happened. It's totally usable, it still looks good. Um, it just, it could look better. Um, and that's my goal. So, always improve. Moving forward, I'm going to finish this tray because, damn it, that's life goals today. I'm actually going to my fingers because I'm a freaking idiot. Um, I want to try to reposition this on the fly, make it work a little bit better. better. It could have been much worse. Still not perfect. I wouldn't sell this. I tell you that much. I wouldn't sell this. <clears throat> but I keep it. Might give it to somebody. As long as they were 100% completely aware that they were getting like a first prototype of whatever it is. Because it's rather sloppy looking to me, but I'm still figuring all this out. And I definitely should have played with the fabric a little bit more before I started, um, because I could have avoided a couple of issues. Um, but you know, the more you know. And besides, I was really excited, let's just be honest, I really wanted that ball to try. Okay. Hello, the naysayer. Hey, how's it going? I'm making a dice tray. This one's velvet. Or at least it's got velvet on the inside. Um, let's see. I don't think you can actually... This one's really bad, let's be honest. I'm very... I definitely would not sell this one. Um, because of the obvious definite bunching of both fabrics. Um, but that's why we do practice ones. That's why we're learning. Um, this is a fabric combination I've never used before. So gotta do a test run, right? Um, so this is the one side 
And I see what I did here is that um, on the sides, I kind of went in. Um, and you can see that there. Yes, yes, yes. Um, that is because on this side, I was having some bunching with the, um, the velvet on this side. Um, so while it appeared to be enough fabric to cover this area here, as well as um, go over, cover the, the width of the insert, um, it was not um, quite enough. And the way that I pinned it was a little bit incorrect. So I'm going to have to, on my next run, I'm going to have to pin it slightly differently. Um, well, first, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double check the um, direction of the thread, uh, of the, um, what's it called, direction of the weave. And then I'm going to be very careful to follow that. Um, second, I'm going to as opposed to this one, make sure that there's less of a seam allowance. Um, I tend to leave large seam allowances because I know how I work and that's just me. Um, so less of a seam allowance. Um, in addition, I'm going to have to pin it slightly differently to make sure. Um, in fact, I might even sew it the other way um, with the velvet down because this came out like this um, and if it were on this side does not look quite so bad in fact it even goes pretty well so next time inside down velvet on the bottom I think see how that works in my machine um, yeah so, um, let's see, I do kind of like, okay, oh man, this is going to be freaking gorgeous. I cannot wait. I do kind of like, okay, so I do kind of like how the purple creates almost a border around the black. Um, oh man, you can't even really see it here. Hold on. Let's try this. Do, do, do. Uh, there, you can kind of see it. It's so, it's so black. It's just, it, okay. So what I need to do is I need to hammer it out real quick. Um, so I'm going to switch over to that side of the room. I'm going to hammer. We're going to take a look at all this beautifulness right here. Um, test it out a little bit with some dice, of course, because velvet tray. Got to get some nice dice in here. All right. Um, so give me just a moment. We'll be right back.
Okay, so, hello everybody. I'm going to have my tea real quick. Going to finish my tea, I should say. Um, thank you. I'm glad you like this dice tray. Um, once I finish it, it's going to be my dice tray for my travel stuff. Um, because I go places to play D&D. &D. At least when I'm, my home games, I go places to play D&D. No, buddy, you cannot sit on my lap right now. You're gonna hate me in a minute. Fine. Come on. Say hello to my supervisor. Ooh. Please don't fall. There we go. Alrighty. He's such a good boy. I don't know if you can hear him purring. He's my supervisor. He makes sure I'm doing my work. But he also makes sure I take lots of breaks to pet him. That's pretty cool. Okay. Buddy, I love you. You're so cute. You're so warm and fuzzy. But you have to get up. Look, real quick before he struggles away, this is my cat. Mm. I love him. <clears throat> Alright. Is such a big floof. Oh. He's an asshole, though. Don't let him fool you. He's an asshole. But really, all cats are assholes, so. Nobody, you cannot sit in my lap. He really wants to sit in my lap. Saw the felt dice tray. Mm, I don't make any felt dice trays. Uh, uh, a lot of companies are making felt dice trays though, and some of them are really super cool. Oh, I guess you guys probably want to see Project Cam. Do do do. Project Cam. I usually don't have drinks up here. Don't mind my tea. See how it kind of flares out here on the edges? That's because the curve of the seam here. Um, so 
my next one, once again, I'm going to have to make sure I'm paying more attention to the um, actual grain, the weave, which direction it's going, as well as um, pin it differently in order to get it so that they, um, it doesn't do that. And I can sew an actually straight line on it. So that's cool. Um, that is empty. Sweet. really well. That makes me happy. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice and satisfying. everybody working on today? What do we have on our desks? Ah! No! Darn it. Fixing the color later on the site design. Switching over to plant selection. I have no idea how those are two related, but that's cool. I like it. All right. Um, I guess it's hammer time. So I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself. Now stop, hammer time. I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself to protect you uh, and your ears. And you can uh, just listen to music for a little bit and pretend it's you hammering on your coworkers or whoever's aggravating you right at the moment at work. Hey guys, I have used my anvil to death. It has just died. Um, my anvil is dead. So I, 
Um, I, uh, I have no fucking clue what to do right now. Put it that way. Um, well, fuck. That's another way to put it. So... Uh, yeah, it just means I have to go to the store. Um, I mean, I can get one at, like, Michael's or Joanne's or, um, I might even be able to get one at Walmart. Um, so yeah. It, it just sucks. <laughs> it's funny, because I've been making these for, uh, coming up on two years now, almost, and... I, I finally, my anvil took its last feeding, and it said, no, I give. So, <laughs> I guess I'm done for the day. <laughs> um, it's, it's perfectly okay. I've uh, been a little rough on this. After two years, all the dice trays I've made with this baby, I almost want to make it into like a bracelet or something. <laughs> Um, <laughs> this thing and I, we've been through a lot, okay? <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> I'm going to probably go ahead and take this moment to go to my local supply shop and see what they have. Um, I also, while I'm there, I'm going to check on die for my, um, my, uh, thing of a bob and who's, what's it? For my press. That's the word. I'm going to go ahead and check on dies for my press there. To see if maybe they might have stuff, um, I've seen stranger things and they had all like a whole aisle of just accessories like that. So they might actually have something that will work. Um, and then I can just use my snap press, which would be even better. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, I guess I'll see you around. <laughs> um, I'll definitely be back on Thursday for order, order up Thursday. Um, other than that, yeah, you can catch me on Twitter at Eris Um And, uh, oh, lovely, I have a lot of viewers right now just in time for me to wrap up. Actually, let's see who's streaming right now, if, if, if anybody. Nobody's streaming. That's fine. I'm the only one that streams during the day. It's cool. I get the, I get the lurking, uh, lurking I'm at my job crowd. It's cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. Um, sorry I didn't finish it, but uh, this dice tray is going to be pretty sweet when I do. All right. Bye.